welcome back to another quick tutorial in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create subdomains in cpanel so now you've probably ordered your domain for example i use learnwithdave.xyz for most of my tutorials so let's say you ordered a domain and then you had the option of creating subdomain and you are wondering how you could create those subdomains under your main domain now once you are logged into your cpanel account navigate to domains so right after your files you have databases and domains right and then you can click on domains right here now this redirects you to the domains page so if you once you navigate to this page you have the domain or that or your main domain that is whichever domain you ordered from the hosting provider now i have learned with dave.xyz and then there is an option here to create a new domain now let me show you an alternative option so once you navigate to the search tool and you type domains it's the same thing that you're going to be rerouted to so if you click on um, domains which has the list of items there create manage and delete multiple domains go ahead and click on it and you are redirected to the same page just as just the same as clicking on domains from the main cpanel page once you are here go ahead and click on create a new domain on this window we have domain or you have list domains you don't have to navigate here but then the one we are looking at here is creating a new domain it's the same as subdomain so right here in the input box where you have the example dot or mine.example.com and what that means is that your subdomain is the name of that subdomain with the extension of your main domain in my case learn with dave.xyz so assuming i want to name this domain tutorial then i'll have tutorials dot learn with dave.xyz i have created this subdomain before so that's how come um, there's a suggestion for me to just select it so just type in your domain with a period and then whatever your domain is in my case learn with dave.xyz once you are done with this particular input box you've entered the domain go ahead and click on submit now if you want to create a, another subdomain right after you are done with the first you can click on submit and create another in my case it's just this subdomain for the purpose of the tutorial so i'll go ahead and click on submit and now i get a success message right here that says okay now my subdomain was created successfully okay and it's tutorial.learnwithdave.xyz right after your domain is created you can go ahead and click on it to see kind of what is inside that domain so go ahead and click on that all right and then you have this default page that loads up okay so this is the default page because you have nothing in this subdomain now let's assume you want to upload a web page on this particular subdomain what you will do here back in your cpanel account go ahead and click on cpanel you are returning to your cpanel's home page and then right here go to file manager now you always have two options using the search tool or just using your home page and then clicking on file manager now this is where all the files that make up your application reside now let's say you are hosting a web page in your main domain you put that in your public underscore html now in this case you have created a subdomain where you want to publish your other website or maybe it's a product that you don't want others to have access to you just want to create a subdomain and then use it or if you are testing a template and you don't want to do that on your main domain you can go ahead and create a subdomain and just do that okay so these are the files so if you go ahead and click on tutorials.learnwithdave.xyz you'll be navigated to this window and then you have the basic or the setup files now this is where you will be uploading your website now we are not looking at how to upload a website onto cpanel i have videos on how to do that in the channel you can check them out you navigate to this place and that's where you upload your website files you just basically go on upload and then you bring onto the files that make up that particular template or website that you are trying to upload now back in our home page if we go back to our domains let's, let me show you quickly now the thing is if you create a subdomain 
you can go ahead and delete that subdomain whenever you want now to delete that i just have to add that to the video instead of making that another video so if you want to delete this subdomain go ahead and click on manage right here click on remove domain and then just confirm the removal of that domain and once again you get a success message right here that says okay now this domain was removed now you are probably wondering if you return back to your cpanel account i want to go back right here you realize that in your cpanel's homepage, tutorials.learn with dave.xyz still exists in your cpanel account now once you have deleted the subdomain go ahead and select this file and click on delete now you can check this box if you want to delete it permanently from your cpanel account and then confirm now you don't have to worry anytime you create a new subdomain that folder will be automatically created in the directory that you prefer and then once that is done we'll return to our cpanel homepage. okay now you are probably wondering you have the same manage for your main domain so you are probably wondering whether you could mis mistakenly delete the main domain and the answer is no you can't so let's just try that out if you click on manage domain on the actual domain that you purchased from the hosting provider and once your account was provisioned for you you had this domain sent to you now you don't have any of those configuration files to be able to delete those domains all right now don't worry for every subdomain you create you can create email accounts or email ids under those under that subdomain so there's no issue at all when it comes to creating a subdomain and then email ids yes yeah, so this was a very quick tutorial i hope you enjoyed it if you do please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future updates on the channel okay you can also check up other videos i've uploaded in the past and do enjoy the rest of your day